This is a cat girl. It is one example of the evolutionary maladaptations that can take place after learning about anime. If you somehow found this video without knowing anything about anime, I'm sorry. Anyway, the cat girl you're looking at right now is known as Aphelion. Typically, one must go to great lengths to study and learn about a new species. However, this specific subspecies of cat girl has evolved a peculiar lifestyle of recording and conducting experiments all on their own. I poured a bowl of cereal on my desk and I ate all the cereal. It was Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I left the milk in the bowl for a week on my desk and it turned into that weird looking cheese. Okay, she's judging me. When a baby Fillion begins her foray into streaming, she will still be in her adolescent form. In this phase, the Fillion will learn the essentials of streaming. These include dancing, doing flips, stalling, and making D's nuts or your mom jokes. Jerry, what is it? Why are you laughing? Oh, grow up, Jerry. I didn't even say a joke. I just said D's nuts and your mom. You'll grow up in your 50s. What does that even mean? 50s nuts in your... Anyway, one other essential skill she will pick up during this time is an advanced understanding of military-grade weaponry. While she will learn how to use a great variety of weapons, she will likely develop an affinity for the flashbang. By employing this weapon with skill and grace, the Fillion is able to incapacitate anyone within her range, leaving them stunned and staring. It's especially effective against those afflicted with the down bad status effect. In fact, the flashbang is such a potent and reliable weapon that, despite having the ability to wear pants, she will often forgo them so that she is always ready to ward off potential threats. While this may appear bizarre at first, the Fillion must learn to use such weapons if she wants to survive in her natural habitat of an active war zone. In any given hour, even while recording, the Fillion will be caught in the crossfire of, or the target in, an active shooting situation. If there's one thing that Fillions are, Persistent. Ignorantly so, but we're persistent, okay? <laughs> Miraculously, in response to the Fillion's dangerous environment, the subspecies appears to have evolved a nearly indestructible body. This may not be the blessing it appears to be, however, as this durability tends to cause hubris within the Fillion and, despite her incredible defense, she still maintains the ability to feel pain. Between this pride and her inherently reckless nature, the Fillion will repeatedly put herself into painful situations. Chat, you may say Fillion this is a bad idea, but you've never seen a bad idea Last until you've seen me. Before disaster. No, 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 chat, hear me out! We're gonna do a grenade jump, just like Doom Eternal. I don't have a rocket launcher, I have a grenade. So what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna pull the pin, drop it, we're gonna jump Tell on three. Voice, that's the <laughs> One other benefit, or curse, to her indestructible body is the ability to contort herself into various shapes. She can use this to impersonate less threatening species, such as snails, morph into abominations to confuse and scare potential threats, or even collapse for portability. Though that last part might be redundant, they're already quite small. In addition to their ears, the Fillion subspecies has evolved a few more cat-like traits, most notably their catnip-like relationship with Red Bull. <laughs> I feel kinda good, I'm not gonna lie! <laughs> they are a destructive bunch who often break things or knock things off tables, especially if they belong to the homeowner. And yes, there is a hole in my wall. And you may say, Fillion, why is it called butt wall? Well, let me tell you, Snacker, it's because I put a hole in the wall with my butt. It's true. It's true. And Snackers, listen up. Before you say thick, I need to inform you that was one butt cheek. All right. <clears throat> also like cats, they are evil and murderous. They have been known to deceive and even take the life of another Fillion without remorse. And hey, man, you know, whenever yeah, there's course. someone I feel like I need to lean on, I'll always lean on you. So we're going to test that out right now. That's... All right, here we go. <laughs> It is unclear whether they possess the intelligence of a cat or a human, as they have been observed to speak intelligently. So there's this concept called a derivative, and pretty much what this thing does, you're not gonna believe it, but it kind of, it marks sort of the change in an nth dimension above your current dimension. And so what that does is, um, you can kind of like, 
tell the rate at which something is changing, and you can tell the rate at which the rate is changing. But, I'm sorry, but they have also been observed making decisions that call their intellect into question. No. Frick. <laughs> um. So, what do you want? What? When you when you wash your hands, you're supposed to remove all electronics. It's minus three hundred dollars. Unfortunately for her, one cat-like trait the Philian did not develop was the tendency to always land on one's feet. This can lead to the occasional misfire of a flashbang. I was trying to do a flip. Uh, the time you was too good. There is one strange adaptation that is yet to be explained. For some reason, they appear to have a genetic predisposition towards fruit snack addiction. This reliance has led to a variety of peculiar actions. Not only has this Philian been observed stealing the fruit snacks of others. Where? It's an empty box. You're out by more? Frick. She has also willingly worsened her living conditions in order to ensure ease of access. I'm a cat girl who lives outside of a fruit snack factory. I have zero furniture in my house. I literally live in horrific conditions that would put a sweatshop worker to shame. Perhaps the most devastating consequence of this fruit snack based diet is near constant indigestion. The Philian will let out loud flatulence at inopportune moments, occasionally several times a minute. Does he actually eat peanuts? Okay. Stop! If I hear one more mother truck and fart in this mother truck and you laugh, you lose, I'm gonna do the opposite of laugh. That's right, chat. I'm gonna get ra- <laughs> Anyway, not much is known about their reproductive tendencies as, unlike some other cat girl subspecies, a Philian will tend to keep these details private. Dog. Let's see some titties! No! One observation that has been made, however, is that the Philian will often follow up a mating call by coughing up a furball. Var, X-ray nozzles pounces on you, ooh, you so warm. <laughs> <laughs> It is unclear whether this is an automatic response or something done intentionally. It doesn't seem to be working too well for this specimen, however. Will you... Will you marry me? Fuck you. Can I be honest? I've never kissed anyone before. Not even once. Maybe it's like one of those jocks in high school who likes attention, so he flirts at every opportunity, but really he only has a crush on one person, so he pushes everyone else away to chase after the girl he's into, despite her having no interest in him. And then he gets out of high school with no dating experience, and he doesn't know how to go about flirting anymore, since he's gained 15 pounds and isn't the hot guy anymore. What was that, Jerry? Projecting. I have no clue what you're talking about. Well, now you just sound like you're jealous. What was that? Jealous of D's nut? Jerry, that doesn't even make sense. You know, originally I was worried that I wouldn't have enough to make this video, since I've only sat down for two streams, but when I actually went to write the script, it was like three pages before I cut stuff out. Way longer than I thought it would be. This might be my last filling content for a bit, because I'm a little desensitized to it. Hell, even to cover up one flashbang, I have to spend way too long looking at... Anyway, it's like a speedrun to minimize everything whenever I hear someone walking near my room. Always face your monitors away from the door. Have I rambled for long enough? Has everyone gone yet? Thanks for watching, y'all.